How to care for zebra danios. Danios are fun to watch and easy to care for, even for the novice aquarist. This article will show you how to care for these hardy, yet beautiful fish. Setting up the aquarium. Choose a tank large enough for a group of fish. Danios thrive in groups, the larger the better. Ideally you should have at least 5 or 6 danios, in a tank that holds at least 25 gallons 95 liters. A group of 3 fish in a smaller tank is acceptable, but can lead to stress or aggression. Never keep a zebra danio alone or in a tank smaller than 10 gallons 38 L. Wh Step 1 underscore rendered. Add gravel and plants. Add a layer of well-rinsed sand or gravel to the base of the dry tank. Add a few plants and ornaments as well, but keep the taller ones at the perimeter of the tank. Danios are active fish that need plenty of room to swim at the mid-level of the tank. The decorations are necessary so the fish can hide, but should not interfere with movement. Add the water. If you are not familiar with aquarium care, read this article for more details. You may need to treat the water with a dechlorinator. Set up aquarium equipment. A filter, air pump, aquarium light, and thermometer are standard supplies for any aquarium. Danios prefer temperatures around 70 to 75 F, 21 to 24 C. Depending on the temperature conditions of your home, you may need a heater to regulate this temperature. Danios like water movement. Make sure there is water movement from the water filter. Cycle your tank. It is very important to cycle a new aquarium for at least a month, not a day like some pet stores say, before adding any fish. Use a test kit from an aquarium store to measure the amount of ammonia, nitrites, and nitrate. Do not add the fish until these measurements are stable at safe levels. Your test kit can also measure water pH acidity. Danios do best in water pH from 6.5 to 7.2. Add freshwater salt optional. Some hobbyists add freshwater aquarium salt to their tanks in small amounts, as directed on the product label. This is a little controversial among aquarium owners. A little salt can help the fish fight off disease, but too much can have unwelcome side effects. Only use freshwater aquarium salt, not ordinary salt. Do not add salt more than once between water changes. Salt does not leave the tank, so adding more can cause a lethal overdose. 